Welcome to this lecture on arc length and area of a sector. And it will be the last lecture for this chapter. As I decided um, only to do a problem section for the next um, uh, section on velocities and no lecture for that. So this is the last lecture of uh, this chapter. Arc length. The arc length S is defined as the angle theta in radians um, times the radius. And so, for example, if we have an angle of two radians, which would be in the neighborhood of 100 degrees or so, um, how do I know that? Well, I use my approximation from earlier there. I say, OK, two radians times roughly 50, I come up with 100 degrees. There, and a and then a radius of 4.3 inches, we would come up with two radians times, which I borrow from here, 4.3 inches, and we come up with an arc length of 8.6 inches. And that's really, that's all. And it, that was really that, that that's that's all that's to it. Um, of course, we may at other times solve for theta, and then it's just theta equals s over r, or we have to solve for r, and then of course r equals um, s over theta. Very straightforward. Um, here's something that I like to add: that for small angles and small arc lengths, and this is for small angles only, the angle theta, as long as it's in radians is virtually the same as sine theta, tangent theta, the arc length as, and the chord, the, in parentheses, the chord is something that is um, not used that often, are virtually all the same. And you can see this from this diagram that for a small angle theta, where theta is also the arc length times the radius, um, that the tangent and the sine are really close to each other, and the arc length is also really close to, to them, as well as the chord, which would be the straight line from here to here. Um, this becomes, to me, that becomes crucial when I just want to have a quick estimate. So for example, um, I build a fence around my house um, that I build parallel to the house, and then I estimate it as I build it parallel to the house by how many degrees was I off. And I didn't want to bother of getting a calculator and making exact measurements, so I just figured that over the length of 50 feet um, of the fence, I might have been off by one foot. Um, I think that's a, that's a um, legitimate estimate. Uh, so how far was I off? Well, um, one over 50. I have then radians as 0.02 radians then. Um, and the fifth, yeah, and, and um, as I said, you know, that's the same as, as the sine over 150. Um, converted to degrees, I would either multiply with 60 or 50, um, and I come up with, well, one degree. And when I plug in the number into the calculator, I will come up with that the inverse sine of 1 over 50 is 1 point, uh, let me do this actually in radians first on the side, is 0 0.020 radians respectively in degrees, that's 1.14 or rounded 1.1 degrees, which justifies my quick estimate that I had. And this year I just did on my calculator, well, this one here I just did in my head. For small angles, I can do that. Uh, 1 over 50, 0.02 radians. For the tangent, pretty much the same thing. So inverse tangent, I come up with 0 0.01, and then actually this here, 9997. So I come up with a rounded 0 0.02 radians, respectively, when I do that in degrees. I come up with 1.1 degrees 
rounded. Um, this works up to 10 degrees really well, up to 20 degrees, you know, there's, there's going to be an error of maybe 5% in there, and then past 20 degrees, I wouldn't use that kind of rule of thumb anymore. So for small angles, just keep in mind, we, I will be using it occasionally, that the sine theta, the tangent theta, and the arc length is, and this is really rarely that we use the chord, that these, especially these three here, are virtually the same for small angles, only less than 10 degrees, maybe even less than 20 degrees. Okay, area of a sector. Area of a sector is one half theta r squared, and note that that comes um, readily from saying that the area of a circle is pi r squared. You should be familiar with that from geometry. And then when we plug this in here for theta, theta of an entire circle is two pi. And then of course, we have to put a one half in front of that to cancel this two, but the one half survives for the area of a sector as this one here will be the angle of that sector. So let's do an example. Um, one half times 1.4 radians, and maybe if I can grab it, I want to get a times, there it is. times 1.4 radians, times 2.1 meters squared, square, and when I do that on the side, it's going to be 0.5 times 1.4 times 2.1 squared, and I come up with a rounded 3.5 one square meters. So, and again, these are, this is a straightforward um, equation where you just have to plug in numbers or do one algebra step. And more exercises will be presented in the problem section. And with that, I conclude the last lecture for chapter, for this chapter.